Horvat will start for the Vancouver Canucks. Referees for this game, Kendrick Nicholson and Eric Furlat. The linesmen are Kyle Murchison and Derek Nansen. And we are underway. No further there for Highmore. Bounces around. Shifley trying to get a stick on it. Kent and Horvat will carry it back in. He'll drop it back. Shot to the short side by Tanner Pearson. Nate Schmidt will track this down. Try to stuff it back to the line. Appleton got a piece of it. And he'll play give and go with Adam Lowry. Appleton will dump it in. Demko right pad safe. Turns that aside. And Nate Schmidt will play it all the way around as the teams get a change. Turned over. Centered in front of the net for Perot. Demko wasn't sure where it was. Cooper going to got Canucks to get out of their own zone. And then this entry here, it's a nice job from Dubois to skate onto that puck. Talked in the open about being simple and direct. Good evidence of that early. Shot from the line. Save made. Rebound in tight right across the goal line. The Vancouver line. Wheeler drops it back to the line. Hano, a little fake. Hano will drop it. It's intercepted. Hoaglander with a break in on Brossois. Fire, save, rebound, scores. Niels Hoaglander. Opens the scoring for Vancouver. His fourth against the Jets this year. It's up ice and how you pay for it in the own zone. There's a good stop up from Blake Wheeler. I like the fact that he hits Hanover there. There's some creativity involved. Hanover tries to walk the line, but a good read by Hoaglander, who is slippery. If you get in and behind your opponents, he's got lots of hands and lots of skills to, to back it up here. And now he's got a breakaway off of a misplay in the offensive zone. He doesn't score. So in the season series now, each team has scored the game's opening goal four times. This is the eighth meeting of the year. DeMello, Long, Rishot, and Demko at the top of the paint will glove it and hang off. His pass goes off a skate. Makes its way out the center and on it is Matthew Perot. Perot carries it. Rishot won't save Demko and will get a face off in the Vancouver end. It affects the speed you generate through the neutral zone. Edler for Nate Schmidt. He'll play this in. Pearson will drop it back. Shot to the short side. Save made. Billy Handel, the fifth game of the year, into the slot for Wheeler. Wheeler fires from a short bang. Will save made. And the Canucks are there to clear. Dubois chases this into the Vancouver zone. Wins the battle. Try to center it, but it is intercepted by Highmore. Plays it on for Tanner Pearson. Back for Highmore. A little bit of room. Shot wide off the backboard. Score! Came to the front of the net and Bo Horvat there to bang it in. Moving out of their zone as a group of three. Quick transition. Now all three guys fill all three lanes. There's some speed. Middle drive from Pearson. So it's just a simple shot that misses the net. But because you have guys following up in that second layer, heading to the middle of the ice, You've got an opportunity to get a chance off of your initial one, and that's exactly what happened. Dip over the last five games. Cross ice. Rathbone plays it down to the goal line. Besser back for Rathbone. And that may have gone off forward stick or the left pad of Brossois. In motion to get back to your true form. Edler back into his own end. Edler turned it over. In comes Wheeler. Cross ice. Shifley big save. Demko from that, no doubt. I like the pressure earlier from Kyle Connor. It creates a turnover now. How about that? And Brayback will send it back out at center. Morrissey quickly right back in for Shifley. Shifley goes rink wide. Perot takes it off the sideboards. Perot looking up front for Kyle Connor. Scores! Kyle Connor, who had gone seven without a point for the Winnipeg Jets, gets a huge goal here to get the Jets on the board. Demko off with a stick of Shifley, but they weren't done there. Get the puck back and continue to force her. I like that little fake pass to the middle. Pearl buys a little bit of time and space for himself. Pulls Quinn Hughes to him, opens up the middle of the ice, and right on the mark for Kyle Connor, who gets his 23rd goal. Young career, relatively speaking. It's not an easy thing to pull yourself out of. Back in across, shot by Stasty. Demko got a piece of it. Dubois in on the four check as well. Cop on the far side, gets it back. Dubois on for Andrew Cup. Short side try. Dentro the save. They've only had one power play goal in their last five games. In front for Perot. Trying to fish it out of the pile. Dubois. And another outstanding save by Thatcher Demko. Period was a real builder here. They look at the last chance. The Jets have created some chances and they've created it in the right ways. A little face off win, a scrum. And Dubois has a glorious opportunity there as he kind of finds some open ice and the puck does come to him, gets that one timer off. How about Demko? I think when you talk about team speed, 
a lot of the team speed is generated from how well you defend. Now you're getting the puck into the hands of the forwards at the right place, and that's something I think the Jets are much better at. Down the around for Andrew Kopp. Pass goes off a skate. Perot catches up to it. On for Dubois. Here, Luke Dubois tried to drive it through. Gets a second chance. Save made by Thatcher Demko. With the quick up, broken up at center ice by forward, right back in for Lowry. Off for Mason Appleton, looking to the front of the net for Stasty. Lowry gets a couple of whacks at it, and Thatcher Demko will smother. Through the hands of all five guys, whether a shot from up high, caught Connor Shifley down low. Another face-off win. Shifley in tight, scores! Goal light goes on, referee says no. Man, we've seen some good chances. Look at that pass right there off of the shoulder of Demko, off of the post and out. You can see clearly on that replay that it doesn't cross the line. And Wheeler in behind the net. Wheeler works it back for Kyle Connor. Will we hear the horn? Shot rebound and Demko, a terrific save off of Mark Shifley. Pittsburgh is the only team done that's going to the playoffs. There's seven teams that are done. The guys that are coming down the pipe. Compete and have that win mentality is what Travis Green wants to see. Lowry into the short side of that stop. Direct approach here. A little kick to the middle and then it's Appleton. And the speed comes from below from Lowry. Rathbone trying to send it all the way around. Stasty breaks it up. Dubois centers. Appleton in tight. And he jams it back into the pads of Demko. This line has been really good playing connected here. A little pass again. That Getting squared away in front of Demko. Hoaglander takes it to the outside, puts on the brakes. Hanola stays with him. Hoaglander turns, fires off the outside of the post. Back for Hamannick and back into his own end. Cross ice pass. And this is carried in by Hoaglander. Cross ice score! Nils Hoaglander lets the shot go. It goes off a body. And the Vancouver Canucks with 9.44 to go have a 3-1 lead on Hoaglander's second of the night. Creating a good chance out there. So I'll tell you, the Jets have not been able to buy a bounce. They've created so many chances. It's kicked off legs, net front. And Thatcher Demko has been fantastic here. After a couple of minutes here in the offensive zone, the Jets getting clear puck possession moving it efficiently one chance against it's a shot that redirects off the defenders we saw it saturday with tim stutzler who ended up with a hat trick lead pass kyle connor in alone connor save rebound save thatcher demko brilliant for the vancouver canucks it's a terrific pass from shifley and thatcher demko denies certainly found ways to generate good scoring chances they probably haven't been rewarded with what they deserve. Brock Besser with a little bit of room. Besser the shot. Save made by Brossois. This has kind of been a story of the night where the Jets have one, two, maybe three chances. And one opportunity the other way turns into a pretty darn good chances in the Ozone. They've had one, two guys there all night long. The broken stick from Morrissey, but still two guys right on the top of the blue paint. With March 2nd. Here's a chance for Besser. Save made. Brossois. Left to go in the third. Edler in the corner, tied up with Stasty. Kopp comes up with it. Kopp looking for Shifley and Tyler Myers at the empty net. Off the outside of the post and wide. One in seven is past eight. But a team that's depleted in a schedule that has been less than favorable to say the least. That tonight they started seven games in their next ten nights.